We're here to reinstate the dynasty. From the pages of Harry Potter to the Whitaker IM Fields, believe it or not, Quidditch is actually a sport. Good night, John! And the UT Quidditch team was once a powerhouse, capping a three-year title run three years ago. There's a moment where you're at the World Cup and you just realize, like, you're about to light the tower. And then another moment where you're like, you're the best in the world at this. Like, this is it. There's nobody better right now. To be great, you have to do things differently. And this team is trying to be great again. Yeah, baby! Since Quidditch is a combination of football, basketball, and soccer, conditioning is very important. And this year's team decided to make that a focus. There's definitely been an influx of new drills, uh, but I think the biggest one has just been sprinting at least five or so times down the pitch and back after every practice. I feel much better in games. I'm able to stay out there longer. And same for my teammates. Um, whereas before, I think I would play like four or five plays and just be exhausted. As well as being in better shape, senior Austin Dixon sees a huge difference in this year's team. This team is more skilled and it's less reliant on like the major players. We can go from lineup to lineup and give people different looks and different feels. We have shooters, we have like cutters, we've got everything. Uh, and I think that's what makes us the most dangerous is we can adapt to situations really well. That formula might be the spell they need to bring home a championship. Hey, Spectre! Let's go!